Welcome back to another video. I've had some people commenting on my short that I just uploaded and um, cutting down the big my biggest tree ever or something. I can't remember what I titled it. Um one of them said uh why am I cutting down live trees? And the other one said stop cutting down trees. I asked why and I I didn't get a justification for their statements, their questions. Um, but they're looking for a justification for my actions. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain why I'm cutting down my trees. <laughs> now, there's a number of reasons why anyone would want to cut down a tree. Um, you could be looking for firewood. You could be looking to make planks, um, like timber for construction or making your woodworking projects, things like that. Uh, the tree could also be sick. Uh, the tree could be dangerously close to um, dangerously close to your house or any other building like a shed, anything like that. And for me, in this particular case, I cut this tree down behind me, which is the one that was in the video. I want to put a polytunnel here that tree I'll give you I'm gonna I'll pick up the camera I'll give you a closer look Um, it's not entirely clear now that I've cut it but just one second the lean on this so this split into see if I can show you here so this had a split here Ooh. If I come around this side you can see it better so it was split like that both of those trunks were leaning one was leaning towards the mobile there and a little bit back that way the other one was leaning exactly where i had it fall like right there um now i have that all stacked there ready to be split so that fell right there which is the only direction it would ever fall naturally and that is exactly where my polytunnel is going to be and Maybe some people are going to be sad that the tree got cut down. <laughs> but the tree is not dead. All is not lost. It's very much alive. So if you come in closer here, you can see that's a little shoot coming out of the trunk already. So what happens when you cut down trees like an alder, alder, willow, hazel, any deciduous tree really will be able to do this. Some are better than others. Here's some shoots there. There's dormant nodes in the cambrium layer of like just underneath the bark, which is, that's the only like real live part of the tree, um, which sends nutrients up and down the trunk. Um, so when you cut your tree like that, you coppice it, there's still energy in the roots when you cut it at this time of year. So what's going to happen is when that energy starts flowing up the cambrium layer, the only places it can go are to either these little shoots or it's going to have to make new shoots. The tree is still going to be alive. And by coppicing the tree, you're actually doubling the lifespan of the tree. Uh, so a tree can live twice as long as it naturally would if you coppice it. Um, because if you leave a tree alone, it'll get very, very big, very, very tall. Ivy can start climbing up on top of it, like as was the case with this one. And actually, you can see there, that tree there has ivy on it. That becomes a bit of a parachute in strong winds, which you get a lot of here in Ireland. And that'll cause the tree to fall over. Whereas if you coppice it, you're going to be making it live a little bit longer. And then you get nice, smaller bits of wood that you can use. So this is what happens in the production of willow baskets. Um, you want to coppice them so that they grow back in those nice little shoots and you can make many products out of it willow screens willow baskets anything you can imagine that you could do with those and um, they are they also can be used as whips for planting new trees and in my case since i've been here i've probably cut down 30 trees and i've planted over 130 and half of the 30 that i've cut are coppiced so like i've got this one 
this one right here this one I coppiced last year so that's just one year of growth we have all of these little little sticks now what you can do is you can cut these new shoots off and just leave a couple of them so it gets nice and thick so it can focus its energy on just a few and then you get it's easier to produce firewood that way um different things that you can do when it comes to coppicing but this tree is very much alive uh, just because you cut it down doesn't mean you kill it give you a further tour like here's another tree there's another one in behind that so you can see that's the, the original stump there there's the flat of it and all these new shoots all this new life coming out of it we have another one here more here so all of this this one got a bit of damage but it should be okay um yeah there's no big loss there's no big panic about cutting down a tree so i know uh, there's like a lot of talk in ecological circles about how important trees are and i definitely agree trees are very important uh, i do i would love to see more trees but you have to put these ideals into a context and in this context this is my home and there's things that i need to accomplish here and by me cutting down this one big tree and still allowing it to grow back and create a denser habitat for the birds rather than having the one big tall one it also opens up the space and makes it a safer place for me to work in and I'm more willing to invest into this area and not worry about that tree collapsing one day I can put my polytunnel here and grow a lot more plants and I can plant a lot more flowers and blueberry bushes and all those things that are going to benefit me but they're also going to be benefiting the environment and the soil and everything that comes along with that so why I cut down the live tree is because I need firewood I need to use the space for a future polytunnel so I can grow more food be more self-sufficient and less reliant on big global supply chain systems and fossil fuels and all the rest and it's more beneficial for the tree to be cut down like that and beneficial for songbirds to have a denser habitat they'll feel safer and yeah then there's also the plus benefits of by growing my own food improving the soil it's better for worms and beetles and the list goes on so that's why i cut down a live tree and i'll see you in the next video